It's like I spent more than half my life hating my hair. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome to so Welcome back to my channel. I was just gonna tell you know what's going on. I have committed a crime. I've committed a crime and my hair is being punished. My scalp especially. Here we go. Okay, you know what? It's not looking that bad, but that's because I just woke up. Let me give you a full 360. You know what? It's not looking that bad. A little turn up. <coughs> Is it that bad? Is it that bad? Is it bad? Tell me now. So I was shooting some sponsored content, right? So I asked my mom to, you know, corner my hair. Oh, yep, it's looking a little bad. I asked my mom to corner my hair like a month ago, and I have not touched it since. I have not put water in it. I have not sprayed any kind of anything in it. There's no oil in it. I just left it alone. I just left it alone, and that is my fault. That is my fault, but let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me get started first. I'm just going in with some water here, and I, guys, I have, the way my hair is gonna love this, my scalp, Wow. Well, that feels so good. Look how the water sits on my... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. See, even if I just did this once a week, I didn't. I'm sure I'd feel a lot more relief. Okay, let me tell you how we got to this point. So as I was saying, I shot some sponsored content, asked my mom to do my hair, and then I was like, oh, well, you know, like I can do a lot of content with this hair, so let me just keep the style in, right? Kept it in for like about a month. And I didn't touch my hair. No moisture, no nothing. I'm gonna go in with the the African Pride pre shampoo. This is really good. <laughs> this is really good. I did not know I was gonna like this product as much as I do. It's really like my hair is in it, but it's really like goopy. The slip is perfect. I used to use like just regular conditioner as a pre poo because it had like great slip, but this is better. This is better. I'm just gonna spread it all throughout my hair before I undo them till I'm not running into more tangles than I need to. Then I'm gonna go back in with water. I feel like that's the perfect combo. I left the braids in and I feel like it's because, so if you don't know me, I used to only wear knotless braids. For more than half of my life, I wore knotless braids. Not, not knotless braids, but braids in general, right? And then while I was wearing braids, it's like my protective style, I didn't do anything to my hair. I didn't put water in it, I didn't oil my scalp, I didn't put any kind of spray in it. I just left it alone for those months and months at a time. And I felt like it was because I was trying to preserve the style to have it in longer so I wouldn't have to deal with my natural hair, which is really, really bad, obviously. Especially because I didn't know how to deal with my hair. I was like, okay, like, let me just keep these in for as long as I can. And then when I have to take it out, I'll deal with my hair just so I can put my hair back into braids. Like, that's how much, like, I was not feeling my hair. Like, I was, not that I wasn't, yeah, I'd say I wasn't feeling it. I didn't like it. I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't know how to do with it. All I knew is that it hurt, like, Heck, it hurt so bad for me to do my hair at any point in time. Doesn't matter who it was. If it was my mom, it hurt. If it was myself, it hurt. If it was anybody, it hurt. So that's why I just kind of stayed away from just doing my hair or like keeping it in braids for as long as I could. And there was always that one week. That one week where my mom was like, oh, look, like, you can't put your hair back in braids. You have to let it breathe for a week. And I was like, this is just nonsense. My hair doesn't need to breathe. Just put it back in the braids. I just didn't like my hair that much. I did not like my hair that much. And I hate to say it, but it's true. I spent, guys, like I spent more than half my life hating my hair, which is really, really sad. But it's true. Which is why I spend my time now playing my hair because I love it so much now. And I feel like I missed out on that on most of my life. Yeah, so I feel like I kind of fell back into that mentality where I was like, okay, like I have to preserve the braids so I can keep wearing my wigs and I won't have to do my hair forgetting that I know how to do my hair. Like I literally just forgot that. I know how to do my hair oh also because like my hair is just go back a couple videos and you'll catch you'll be you'll be caught up I promise uh, my hair is breaking a little bit because <laughs> at the beginning of the year in like what oh, so itchy March I had not sprays in for four months as I usually would right and I suffered a lot of breakage I suffered through a lot of breakage a lot of hair loss hold on can we just get into the slip like look at this look at how easy this is let me give you a close-up look at how easy this is wow I'm telling you the best slip ever I was shocked it shocked me for real and I'm almost done it so I'm definitely going to be getting more oh my head is so itchy yeah anyway so now was braids that I had I ended up damaging my hair so when I went to go get my hair cut my size was like yeah you have a little breakage not a little, a lot. I had breakage and she was kind of just like, you know, like make sure you're retaining moisture and I'm sure all the hundreds of styles I was doing throughout the summer did not help, but it's fine, it's for the people. Ugh. So now I'm just trying to be extra cautious of like, you know, protecting my hair, but like, I don't know why, but in my head, I have this horrible, I have this misconstructed view of that 
protecting my hair means leaving it alone which is not what that means and I feel like that happens with a lot of people because like for me I really thought the years that I was wearing braids and never seeing my hair ever not washing it not or going long periods of time without washing it not having it out i was like oh like i'm protecting my hair so it's gonna grow super long i was not protecting it and people need to stop saying putting your hair away means that you're protecting it that's not true because i'm sure what i just did here <sighs> set me back more than it did set me up you know what i mean because it's like your hair needs water <laughs> Your hair needs water and I wasn't even giving it that I wouldn't say this was a Protective style did it help me keep my hair keep my hands out of my hair? Absolutely But I'm sure my hair has suffered because of it because my hair is obviously super dry My scalp has been so itchy for me. I don't know what it is But if I go well now now that my hair has seen the light if I go a long time without washing my hair We're talking like over seven days. My scalp starts to act up. It gets Super itchy, literally unmanageable. I will literally be going on about my day just scratching my head. I cannot wait to wash my hair and I never say that because I don't like washing it. It's not that I don't like washing it, it just takes too long. It just takes too long. Especially if I'm doing like the full pre-shampoo, deep conditioner, leave-in leave, leave conditioner, hooded dry, you know what I mean? I used to like it and now I'm just over it because I have to do it so, because I do it so often, I'm just over it, you know what I mean? I just get bored. If you suffer with tangles, this is definitely the stuff. This is water. It's never more products. You always just need more water. But for now, I'm gonna put more products. Like, you see how I'm scratching my face while I'm doing my own hair? Because my scalp is just so sensitive. It is so sensitive. Y'all see how my hands are gliding through? Oh, my scalp is on fire. Just because it itches so bad, which is really my own fault. I'm sorry. I really hope my edges are still there because I've been wearing wigs and, like, putting glue and just... I wasn't ripping the wigs off my head, but I wasn't the most gentle with my takedown process because, honestly, it's kind of satisfying. I don't... I know that's super bad, but it's kind of satisfying. We're not even halfway, and this looks like a lot of hair to be in my process. Grab a little goop. Spread it all along the braids, all throughout the back. Okay, moving over to my trifold mirror. Honestly, if you are a natural or you just do hair in general, this mirror has been a godsend for me. Honestly, if I was gonna recommend one thing you invest in, it's this because I can see all angles of my head anywhere I look, and honestly, it's just chef's kiss. I'm gonna just give you guys a better visual on like the backhand so you can see what's going on. Speed through this part and then we'll get to the wash. washing my hair in the shower it just it just makes it the process just so much longer but for you guys I will do almost anything so we're gonna we're gonna do the full wash thing in the shower so I'll see you there my hair looks so cute but I also want you to know like look at my shedding over a month I'm shocked I'm shocked let me check that this is actually a month of cornrows because look at that pre shampoo I'm telling you it's really good it's really good the slip is amazing my hair looks so cute I really did miss her I really did miss her. What can I say? My scalp is still irritating me though, so I know the water's just gonna clean that right up. I don't know if it's build up, if it's sweat, because I do work out a lot. I think it might be, but I'm shocked at the shedding because I've been scratching my head vigorously for a long time now. And I heard like you're not supposed to do that because it can cause more breakage, but I've just been going at it. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil Shampoo that targets dry hair, which my hair was dry. I'm gonna go in with that twice and then go straight to deep conditioning. I don't condition because I don't think there's. A point. Oh, you know what's so funny? My condo actually came with like a different shower head, but like there's no way I'm living in a place where I cannot detach the shower head, especially because I need to wash my hair so often. No, no, no. So I actually went and bought this off Amazon. I love it. I love it. Best purchase of 2022. Also, they, they, people always say, oh, like you have to wash your hair with like warm water. Um, I get that, but I get cold, you know what I'm saying? So I do like warm to a little warmer, you know what I mean? I just went out all the pre-shampoo and now I'm just going in with my actual shampoo. I'm 
have a wash one more time and then decondition. out of the shower and then I'll be good okay wow ow very soft very soft very soft I really love the as I am deep conditioner the only negative points it gets is that it's so expensive here 30 bucks I was like oh okay and it's so tiny what the heck amazing amazing the job has been done so now I'm gonna go back into the shower, rinse it out, and then apply my leave-in in the shower as well, and then we'll be done. Maybe I'll get some of these kinks out beforehand, just so I'm free afterwards. <laughs> Wash day is done. I'm very happy, didn't take too long. I didn't end up putting leave-in conditioner in my hair only because I'm gonna be filming a sponsored TikTok and I kinda wanna put that in there. So just know that I would've gone in with my Not Today Kinky Curly Leave-In, the holy grail. Here it is, here it is. It's this one, this one's an empty bottle. That's how good it is, I literally have. Side note, side note, I posted a short yesterday talking about, like I was just doing a quick wash day and like my thoughts during my wash day and I talked about how I don't use conditioner and a lot of you, I think you think I meant I don't use like conditioner at all, like I use a deep conditioner, I use a leave-in conditioner, but I don't use ordinary conditioner. And people are like, how are you complaining your hair dry but you don't use conditioner? I'm like, I use conditioner guys, I just don't use regular ordinary conditioner because like there's no way people shampoo, condition, deep condition, leave-in conditioner, it's too much, there's no way. If I can eliminate one, I'm going to eliminate one. Okay, that's my rant. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, I will see you in the next. Ask y'all a question. Do you use conditioner? If so, why? Why?